on how to make the Happy Days Ailey lined peg bag. And this is what you'll need. Lining fabric, fabric for the outer, a clothes hanger and some ribbon. And this is how you make it. We'll start making the front top of the peg bag. Place your two pieces of fabric that you've cut out for the top and place right sides together and then clip all the way around the curved shape. And now I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and use a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Start in there, sew all the way around the curve. So we're only sewing the curve shape. I'll sew all around the curve and I've clipped just to reduce the bulk. And now we've got to flip it the right way. Once you've flipped it, match up your edges and your sides. And then take it over to your iron and press it. I've pressed it and that's your top piece finished. Place your lining front right sides up. If you were using pattern fabric you'd be looking at the pretty side here now. I'm using plain so it doesn't really matter. Then take the top piece that you've just made and lay it on top like that so they're all edges are together there. And then take the front piece that you've cut out and place it on top right sides together and then clip all along there. I've now clipped it and I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and using a quarter of an inch seam allowance I'm going to start there and sew all along there joining all the layers together. I've sewn all along there and now I'm going to open it out line all the sides and edges up and I'm going to press it place your front right sides up take your back piece and place on top right sides together line up your edges and then take your lining piece and place that on top again and again line up your edges and if you are using patterned fabric you'd be looking at the pretty side now. I'm now going to clip all the way around. Don't worry too much about this excess at the bottom, we'll trim that later. I'm leaving a gap at the top for the coat hanger to come through and I'm going to start sewing now and I'm going to start sewing there on the edge of the gap using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Sew all the way down there and stop. All the way down to the bottom and stop. Across and stop. Back up and stop and across and stop. And I've remembered to leave a two centimetre gap at the top. I've sewn all the way around and I'm going to trim any excess along there and I'm going to trim each of the corners. Finally, you can zigzag the raw edges before turning it the right way around. I've turned it the right way, I've pressed it and I've added the clothes hanger and a little ribbon and that's your Ailey peg bag all finished.